Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of No Man's Sky with your bearded brothers. My name is Keith. And my name is Bryce. And we, and in the last episode, if you haven't been watching, this is our this is our freighter ship. Um, all kind of beautiful things are happening here. It has a base in it. Um, I have a command center. I've sent uh, one of my ships out on a mission, and I bought this new spaceship. And I'm going to go visit Bryce on planet now. Oh boy. find it drive me. But there's a couple uh oh hostile subscape space scan, that's not good. And Jemima, are you down here? I should be. Uh oh, I got hostile ships priced there on my butt. Where are you? Oh gosh, there's Lots of ships on my butt. I'm in space near the near the frigate. Frigate. Or the, near the frigate. the freighter. Frigate. Frigate. The frigate. Oh. frigate. They want my booty, Bryce. They want my booty, I'm and they want it bad. I don't know if you'll get here in time. I'm doing okay. my best. I think I have enough sodium to recharge my shield one time. They want my nanite clusters, Bryce. Okay, I recharge my shield. Good lord, this is a bloodbath. I'm heading back. passing in front of you. Do what? I said keep passing in front of you. Hey, you destroyed a pirate vessel, nice. You did it. You're saving me. Stop running from me, you dirty dirt. I was trying to open the communicator to see if I could speak to them. Oh, leave me be. Nice. The conflict is is over. You have successfully saved my life. I ain't drop nothing. That's stupid. Yeah, my standing with the Gek has increased. Thank you for your Gosh. help, Bryce. You said you came from off planet or on the planet and saved me. <laughs> Are we Anything heading for you, brother? Are we heading back to this building you have marked on this planet? Uh, we can. I'd like to see what's you up in this building. You want to go to the observatory? Would you like to, uh, yeah? Let's go, let's, say. Let's, <laughs> let's go to investigate the observatory. Let's do it. Do you want to, I was about to say, do you want to do the moon thing? We can do that later. Let's do, we, let's do the observatory first. I observatory it is. Because we still need to be thinking about, um... I guess I'll wait till you go somewhere, because I don't want to go to the wrong place. Um, we need to still be thinking about a base. Yeah. Uh, let's not go with the toxic planet. I agree. Nor its icy moon. I'm following you. Going down on the planet. I have arrived. I have arrived. You're gonna see my new, uh, my new ship. When it lands inside of this building. Where are you? Oh, you're on the other side. Oh, nope, you're right Check there. Check it out. Ooh, that's very Star Wars looking. I thought it was kind of ratchet and clanky. Like with the big turbines on the left and right. Yeah, that's true. But I also like it. The observatory. 
Man, Bryce, you're doing the lag, bro. Another the lag machine. You're What's this? Give me the excited feelings. What's this man? Oh, he's. <laughs> Whenever I try to click on this person to talk to him, it says object in use. And that makes me sad for him. He is just an object. Alright, the life form that works or word in this installation loves his equipment, scanning the skies for interesting new systems in its absence has struck gold. A beacon answer has been received and transmission sequence awaits response. One two one two two one two one one two one two two one two one baby. That's the code. I discover a location within the distant stars. What is it? Signal detected. Looks like it was a monolith signal. On Are a you different sure? Yeah, it's on a different planet. Ancient ruin on Does a say different monolith planet. Or ancient ruin, that's different. Ah, uh, okay. Um, talk to this fellow. He offered yeah. me a new multi-tool. Nice. Tell him, don't tell him you need help with Sentinels, because that'll yeah. offer you a new multi-tool, and it's just like a C-class multi-tool. If I look closely, the geck appears to be secreting a greasy substance from their skin. The oil covers their body, rolling into their cracks and crevices. It smells sweeter than I anticipated. Ugh. Perhaps I should give the geck some privacy. I'm going to stare. <laughs> The geck ignores me as I stare at them. I don't know how much time passes as I stand hypnotized by the slow drip of oil upon the scales. Ugh. <laughs> That's gross. Are you pleased with your stuff, Keith? No. <laughs> I feel dirty. Hey, you need some sodium plants. I feel dirty. Hey, I do need some sodium over here. Keith, over here. I got some sodium Keith. over here. Keith, just look over here. Where? Where I am. Holy crap. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I guess I didn't hear fully what you said. But there's two moons, right? There's two moons on this in this area. In this solar system, I think. I believe there is. Also, if you're looking at Bryce and you think, misty. man, this game sucks because of Bryce, this, the multiplayer lag, that's just we have sucky internet and Bryce is somehow yeah. suckier than mine. It embraces the suck real good. It does the big suck. Indeed. Look at all this sodium. This is a beautiful, beautiful find. Bryce, well done. I will need it for my future space battles. But yeah, the ancient ruin was kind of a cool thing. The ancient ruin, last time I found one, took me to another ancient ruin. Cool. Which took me to, like, a, like, some kind of ancient treasure place. What'd you get? Uh, some kind of crate of technology that was worth like a hundred thousand credits or something like that. Nice. It wasn't anything terribly awesome, but mm. it was cool. They must not think we... They're, they're not expecting us to have found our money-making loophole yet. Yeah. Get out of here, you dumb plant. Oh. <laughs> Give me the oxygen. Where did you want that plant? Yeah, it had oxygen in it, which I'm very low on. No, oh, well, there's and oxygen over here. As I was about to finish harvesting it, you're like, Rah. I'm very sorry. I didn't realize that you needed it so bad. There's an oxygen plant over very here. Good. Yeah, I'm about to grab one right here. Okay. I may be in need as well. Not in heavy need. Activity. But. Thing. I need to offload some of this sodium. I'm really happy that we don't have to create warp fuel for the frigates. It's just tritium and dihydrogen. Yeah. So warp fuel is very easy to make as well. Yeah. 
How much? Yeah, I, I need to make some actually. I'm low. I don't have none. Yeah, I don't have any either, is kind of what I meant. <laughs> This dagger that seems like an off-camera kind of grind sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I agree. You want to go visit some moons and see what's up? Oh. It's oh condensed carbon. That's not hard. Let's go visit some moons. I want to hit start. And check out planet data. I wanted to tell me about the moons. Tell me about the moons, George. <laughs> tell me about the moons, George. Yeah, one planet, two moons. That looks like an icy moon over there. My ship is high above the land. Into the atmosphere. Oh, you are in space, please. Into the space. Above this place. Undiscovered. Go out to that moon right there in the ring. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. Have you been to this one yet? Uh, no. I have not been anywhere but the planet. Oh, I thought you were said it had a frozen moon or something. I mean, I can see that from out here. Ah. Fugitive ship. Maybe it's not as frozen as we think. Ancient ruin. It's definitely snowy. But how snowy is the question. Come on. Oh, harsh icy winds. Sentinels are typical. Flora is ample. Fauna is beautiful. Holy crap, these ugly, ugly, ugly animals. Wow, that's really ugly. Yeah, it's definitely a cold planet. We're always finding cold planets. Yeah. Also, if I'm not mistaken, I feel like moons tend to be a little, a little more, a little harsher. I'm hearing a weird, I guess this planets make, or plants, not plants, animals making that noise. Okay. Could have been hearing my epic space battle. Could have been. Um, I'm at the, I'm at the ancient ruin. I don't know what is here. the ancient ruins. Have you oh, been? that's the same thing we just found from the observatory. Mm -hmm. That's where I went. Uh oh, I didn't realize it was a planet. planet. Mm -hmm. Aha. I convulse as I reach out and touch a beautiful stone marker, my mind filling with a deadly knowledge of the true history of the Gek. We are the masters of galaxies, the overlords of the cosmos. Each foe will submit with bended knee to the almighty Gek dominion. We are the first spawn. Look upon our works in despair. some help with language. My knowledge of the Gek increases. I learned the Gek word for pressure. Under pressure. Also there's a big golden ball here that I'm going to try to roll up and do a thing. I don't know what it's for. Looks broken. All right. Bryce, have you completed your task? Um, my task currently is flying towards you. Mm. I mean, if I, I guess if I was being honest, I'd want to con avoid these super harsh weather planets. 
Yeah, incoming blizzard detected. Only an hour left on my expedition. Another new animal. Welcome to the planet burst. You that will like it the here. Word for foul. Big old weirdo. Big old weirdo thing. Dang old weird trick. Get me some ferrite dust. That is what I need. Oh yeah, this blizzard is killing us. Fern found the gift word for syrup. Which is what it's definitely the word we needed. <laughs> yep. If that comes up in conversation <laughs> often. Oh, I accidentally shot animals. Oh key. Okay. Yeah, it's up with me now. And thermal Not protection is at ten percent. Gotta get back to my ship. Bryce, I see we go visit the other moon. Hi. I took some extreme cold damage. Bryce, what what do they think? I think I'm gonna go to the next moon if you'd like to join me. Uh not enough fuel in the launch thrusters, otherwise sure. Uh oh. Ah, poop, I gotta find some here, right, dust. There should be rocks around. Oh, there. Just flying around, waiting for you to launch your ship. If you got some rocks, you need some rocks to launch your ship, yeah. Just fire in some lasers. Storm is clearing. I'm gonna fly in between these things. <clears throat> When I fly over you, do you see the dust? I saw the dust just a second ago. Nice. Yeah, there's dust. <laughs> dust is so cool, man. <laughs> I will say the ice, the ice planets are very beautiful. If nothing else. Nothing else. <laughs> I don't even know where the other moon would be. It's blasty blast time. Uh, I'm getting into the space. Okay, I'm right behind you. I don't have any idea where the other moon would be, Bryce. I'm gonna have to imagine maybe on the other side. Star map, sure. I'm gonna go see if I can't find it over here. Um, yeah, there's not another moon. He says there's supposed to be two moons. Where'd you say that? When you look at the, um, the solar system we're in, I only see one. What do you mean? We've only investigated. I'm looking at the star map. Hover over Fitz gas. It says celestial bodies, one planet, two moons. You see? Um. I mean, I see the solar system, but it's not telling me what's here. 
It doesn't say it tell you anything under celestial bodies? I don't see celestial bodies. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there's another moon over here. I see him. Wait. If you would like to jump to pulse over to me, you can be shown the moon as well. I shall do that after I kill this uh, ship. Bryce, as we are approaching the end of this video, I'm going to head over to this moon to show the folks and then do a save. Hi. Where are you? There you are. It's like directly on the other side of the planet. It looks like it's going to be a pretty arid place. Rock sand miner. Ooh, a downed frigate. Or a freighter. Oh, that's why you can't see it on the map. It's so close to the planet. I thought that ring on the thing was just the uh, ring near the planet. <laughs> Energetic storms, minimal sentinels, full flo flora, and generous fauna. But it's toxic. <laughs> It's full of radiation, I guess. Log extraction, read log. Day after delivering, hope to go home. The lifeboat is not for me. Multiple sentinel energies detect you're requiring immediate dropping out of warp. There are sentinels, what are they doing? Fighting each other. Sentinel ships are engaging each other, ignoring us for now. Sentinels appear to have departed. They're broadcasting 16 RP. I'm going to take a look. Interesting. All right, Bryce. Oh, there you are. Hello. It's -a me, and Germanio. <laughs> okay, folks. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that you have enjoyed it. I certainly have. Um, Bryce, have you enjoyed yourself? Yeah, it's been fun. Well, good. I wish my leg was a little bit less dooky. Yeah. Hopefully but. tomorrow it will be. Yeah. But in the meantime, we love you very much. Bye-bye. Bye, kids. <laughs>